I have to remember to blink, because when you're reading, you have to blink. No blinking. No blinking. <laughs> Open eyes only. Hi everyone, welcome back to Needle Workshop. My name is Gabrielle, and I'm here today to give you a detailed account of how I put together the pauldron for our latest costume. We recently published our first pattern for our last Fable series, which is inspired by Cloud from Final Fantasy Advent Children. You can find the pattern along with a fully written tutorial available for download on our online store, which is linked in the description box below. The written tutorial also includes tons of info on how to properly measure yourself, how to print the pattern, along with the material suggestions and the tools used in this tutorial. We worked really, really hard on this, so make sure to check it out. Important to know for this tutorial is that if you are using a five millimeter wide EVA foam, and real leather, you could substitute out the real leather for faux or vegan leather. Also, always make a mock-up before starting. This allows you to make sure that the fit is right. We'd also like to thank Iwood Cosplay for collaborating with us on the production of this costume. He's looking really good in this costume and we couldn't be happier. He... I, I, don't... <laughs> I don't know, I'm slimy. He made all of it. <laughs> Real good. We'd also like to thank Iwood Cosplay for collaborating with us on the production of this costume. He's looking really good in this costume, and we couldn't be happier. <laughs> he made all the other costume pieces himself, and also had such fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> he made all of the other costume pieces himself and also has several foam working tutorials available. Please make sure to check out his work. All links will be in the description box below. Now let's get started. Trace the EVA pauldron pattern onto the EVA foam and make sure to indicate your notches. There are three total pieces to trace. Use your box cutter and carefully cut out all of your pieces. Apply contact cement along the edges with the notches on the two big pieces and the one small piece. Wait for it to dry. Once dry, carefully assemble your two big pieces together, making sure to line up all notches. Afterwards, assemble the small piece to the big piece, again making sure to line up all notches. Using your heat gun, heat up the entire piece and shape it over a round object. Manually work to get your desired shape. Don't worry if it isn't perfect, we will be reshaping it again later. Trace the fabric pauldron pattern onto the back side of your leather, making sure to indicate notches. There are two pieces total. Using your fabric scissors, cut out the two pieces. Right side to right side, sew your fabric pauldron pieces together one centimeter from the edge, making sure to line up all your notches. Cut small notches into the seam allowance to give a nicer round shape. Make sure not to cut into the stitches. To help prepare for the gluing, pin the seam of the fabric to the seam of the EVA foam. Apply contact cement on one half of the foam pauldron.
apply contact cement on the matching leather half. Once the contact cement is dry on both the EVA foam and leather, carefully start gluing down the leather onto the foam. Please take your time here, because it can be a bit challenging. To remove some thickness from the seam, trim some of the excess seam allowance. Apply contact cement on the other side of the EVA foam and leather. Wait to dry and carefully glue together. Trim the excess leather fabric off the edge of your pauldron. At this point, your pauldron might need to be reshaped. Feel free to reshape it now with your heat gun and round object. Using the pattern, cut out your bias piece out of the leather you chose for the bias. In the video, we didn't have our pattern piece and we also didn't have enough fabric to make it one piece, so instead we made it in two pieces. Sew your bias shut to create a loop, right side to right side, one centimeter from the edge. Take your bias loop and line up the seam of your bias with the seam of your pauldron, right side to right side. Take some clips and clip it around half of the pauldron. Make sure you aren't pulling the bias as you clip it. Let it place itself naturally, the same way peanut butter flops on toes, or at least falls to the ground. <laughs> Shit. Once you have the bias clipped to your pauldron, take it to your sewing machine and sew around the half that is clipped on, 7 millimeters from the edge. You may notice as you near the end that your bias got pushed and it doesn't meet perfectly at the seam of the pauldron anymore. This can happen with a stretchy bias. A simple fix is to just reclip the bias and see where the bias matches the seam of the pauldron and sew the bias to make it shorter and fit to the pauldron seam. Clip the other half of the bias to the other half of the pauldron and sew all around 7 millimeters from the edge. Once the bias is fully sewn to the pauldron, you'll want to tack it down to the inside of your pauldron before adding the decorative stitch. Do so by applying contact cement all around the edge of the EVA foam and leather. Wait to dry and glue together. The next step is to do the decorative hand stitching along the whole bias of the pauldron. Make the holes using your hammer, anvil, and leather stitching hole puncher. Make them about 1 to 2 millimeters away from the seam on the bias. Thread your leather stitching needle with some black leather thread. Start the stitch on the wrong side of the pauldron and pass your needle through the hole. Pass your needle through the next hole going down and then up again through the bottom. Do this the whole way around. You'll now be adding battle damage to your pauldron. With the help of a reference photo, we used our mock-up pauldron to decide where we wanted to place them damage and also to do some tests. Using a Dremel, carefully create the battle damage all over your pauldron. You can get creative here, try copying a reference photo or try copying what we did. Some gashes were dremeled all the way to the foam to give a deeper, more dramatic gash. Next, you'll need to use some black leather dye and a Scott towel to dab the dye into the gashes. Don't be silly like us, please use some gloves while using the black leather dye.
Use some more black leather dye on the back side of your pauldron to cover the white EVA foam. If making the chest belt yourself, prepare your straps for the chest belt. Cut out your two straps based on your own measurements. You can also refer to the written tutorial for more guidance. Once the straps are cut out, you'll need to prepare the buckle. Take your longer strap and mark where you want to put the hole for your buckle. Using your anvil, hammer, and leather hole puncher, punch out the hole that you marked. Slide the strap into the buckle, poke it through the hole, and slide the strap back onto itself on the wrong side of the belt. With the buckle still in the strap, apply some contact cement glue where the strap will be glued down. Wait to dry and glue it down. Take your small strap and make six marks for the holes, more or less depending on your preference. Start the first mark about three centimeters away from the edge and mark the remaining five holes 2.5 centimeters away from each other. Using your anvil, hammer, and leather puncher, make the six holes. To determine the lengths of your straps, you'll want to either use your body with a friend's help or use a mannequin adjusted to your size. Place the pauldron on the mannequin's left shoulder. Starting with your big strap, the one with the buckle, place it on the chest area near the pauldron in the front. Use a reference photo to see exactly where you should place it. Loop the strap across the chest, under the arm and across the back. Get it to reach the pauldron and make a mark where it reaches. Leave about 8 centimeters and make another mark. You'll be cutting here. Take out your small strap. Place the small strap across the chest with the six holes facing down. Make sure the hole you have selected your buckle to go into is lined up where the buckle will be on your chest. Should be the first or second hole. Once that's placed, mark the strap where it meets with the pauldron and make another mark about 8 centimeters away. That'll be your cutting line. Once your straps are cut to their proper lengths, you can assemble them together at the buckle and tape them to your pauldron based on the first marks you made. This is just to make sure that everything looks nice and it fits you properly before gluing the straps onto the pauldron. Using the mark on the strap, line it up with the edge of the pauldron and make a mark on the wrong side of the pauldron where the strap will be glued. Apply contact cement on the EVA foam and the strap Wait for the glue to dry and glue together. Do the same for the back side. Once the straps are glued, you're pretty much done. Optionally, you can add a Velcro piece on the inside of your pauldron and one on the shirt. We didn't add one because the belt alone was enough to hold the pauldron nicely in place. Since there is battle damage on the pauldron, you can also add battle damage to the chest belt for continuity. Oh, I filmed the outro at the same time? Oh, shit! <laughs> shit! Hope this video tutorial was helpful, and if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. If you like this kind of content, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell for more cosplay tutorials. If you'd like to know more about upcoming projects, feel free to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And once again, we'd like to thank Lawrence for taking a chance and working with a small company like ours. It's really appreciated. Thank you. Until next time, good luck with your projects. What hand thing? So at the end, when you say good luck with your projects, and as always, good luck with your projects, guys. Bye bye. Oh, wait. wait. Hello. Until next time, good luck with your projects. <laughs> <laughs> Notice, love it! <laughs>
Until next time, and good luck with your projects. Oh shit! Until next time, good luck with your projects. <laughs> Until next time, good luck with your projects. She just gave up. She just gave up. <laughs> Until next time, good luck with your projects. You're supposed to do it as you say it. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait. Okay. Until next time, good luck with your projects. <laughs> okay, good luck with your projects, guys. Bye. That's a bye, by the way. Oh. Bye. Okay. Good luck with your projects. Bye. Okay. Until next time, good luck with your projects. Bye. <laughs> yes. You got it.